Hi, friends. Sorry. Sorry. I am so very late. <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome in! Happy Friday! We made it, barely. I, I I just barely made it. As you can see from the hat on my head and the clothes on my body, we're not gonna talk about. It. We're not we we aren't gonna talk about it. I don't like how you can't tell that I have a pony back ponytail back here. It's a whole thing, but th this is it for today. This is the best I could do. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Uh, Dreamlight, Dustin, Brian, Teddy, Angela, Ashley, hello, Brittany, Mimi, hello, 350, um, Kyron, Jade, we got Jade in the chat, Little Flower, Joy, Claire, Ashley, um, L, hello, so good to see you, Nicole, welcome in, Feb, Angela, hello, everybody, welcome, welcome in, so sorry again that it took me a minute to get started, I'm just like, ugh. Jen, hello, Simply Unique. Welcome in. Billy, I'm packing. I love packing. Well, at least we can keep you company while you do that. Um, Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have some announcements. We do have some announcements. I just want to make sure. Hold on. Claire, you said you're not a super mod. And what's that about? That's weird. You are. It says it says that you are on my end. Very interesting indeed. Indeed it is. Welcome in. How was your Friday, everyone? How was our Friday? How are we feeling today? Uh okay. Got it. And then I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss somebody special in here tonight. <laughs> Um, yes, welcome in everybody. Happy, happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. I am just, I'm all over the place. I posted a video today. If you guys did not see, um, it's my first ever day one to X. <laughs> so if you haven't seen or haven't watched, please, please go check that out. Go check it out. Um, I would love for you guys to let me know what you think. And if you're interested in seeing more content like that, um, I know it's pretty popular. I wanted to give it a try, see how things are going. Barzy, welcome in, welcome in. Um, I'm at a wedding right now, just saying what's good. <laughs> Barzy, you need to show the bride and groom all the attention. Hello, thank you for popping in. I hope you're having fun at the wedding. Have a drink for me. Um, Claire, thank you so much for the link. By the way, if you guys don't know, I would love it if you watch the video when you have time to watch it for majority of the time. Watch time is so important on YouTube. So just as a hint, if you wanna support your favorite creators, watch their videos all the way through. It's super, super helpful for their videos to continue to be pushed out. Um, and thank you to everyone who's already watched the video. I've seen some comments come in and I appreciate you guys so much. So, so, so much. Um, Shauna, hello. Um, oh, oh my goodness. Hey, Steph, welcome in, bestie. I'm running on, I just want you guys to know this is going to be one of those streams because I'm pretty sure I'm running on like 10% right now. I have my coffee, but I made a mistake last night, which we'll talk about in a second. But before we do that, I have a really big announcement and I want everyone to give a super warm, happy, loving welcome to our two new mods, which is Mimi. Okay, everyone knows Mimi and everyone knows Cherry. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for volunteering your time to help with our channel and everything and everything we do here on YouTube. I appreciate you guys so much and I'm so excited to have Cherry and Mimi join the team of mods. We absolutely have amazing, amazing mods and I think Cherry and Mimi are going to make fantastic addition so if you guys could just say welcome to the mod team and we love you and we're so thankful for your volunteered efforts again these are people who have lives and things to do and they're volunteering their time to help us grow so welcome to the family welcome to the family hey hey welcome to the family hey hey <laughs> welcome in new mods Yes, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for everything. And I hope everyone can um, just give them a warmest welcome, which it, I can see you doing. So thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. I'm really excited. 
I really am. Um, dun, dun, dun. I'm just checking. I don't see. I think I might have. If Cherry, if you're in here, comment something. <laughs> uh, um, y'all be nice to them. I've already given permission to ban any trolls that pop up. It's true. They now are blue and have the wrench. You know what that means. Kato! Welcome in, Kato. Did you stay up late or... Um... I don't even know if I'd call what happened last night staying up late. What What are we? What were we thinking? Okay, all right, all right. If I miss Cherry, somebody say, Cherry's here. I don't want to miss Cherry. But yes, welcome to our new mods. We love you guys and we thank you so much for your time. And welcome to the team, officially. Um, yeah, so I'm so exhausted today because of my own, it's my own doing, my own fault. And that is because after Valley Talk last night, which I hope you all enjoyed Valley Talk. It was a fun episode, I think. Um, after Valley Talk, Kato and Steph and I stayed up yapping until 3 a.m. Who told us that was a good idea? Whose idea? Sorry if you guys can hear my mic. I'm like adjusting it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I just don't know. I really don't. <laughs> Blame Kato. You know what? I think that's a good idea. Kylie, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so, so much for being a part of the family and welcome in. You guys should have stayed live. I mean, at this point, we were like, I don't know. Here, here we are. Let's play Kato. Kato, I blame Steph too. I blame Kato and Steph. I would have been in bed, maybe. Cherry! There's Cherry. Cherry, we were just talking about you and saying how excited we are to have you as a new addition to the mod team. You should see yourself in blue in like three seconds. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cherry. Welcome to our team of wonderful, wonderful mods. And I'm so thankful for you and your time. So welcome to the mod family. Yes, let's show Cherry lots of love. I love the little Cherry um, emote too. It's so cute. Um, Yeah, so here we are, 3 a.m. It was actually past 3 a.m. It was like 3.10. I was like 3.20 by the time I got in bed. Um, I probably didn't actually get to sleep till like 4 yeah. Oh, we're blaming Steph now? Okay, great. Well, and I was meant to take a nap today, but then I was like hell-bent on getting my day one to 15 Moonlight Peaks video out. And so here we are. Um, napless Mommy K up at 8 a.m. Um, and working all the way through the day and now streaming. So here we are. Great. We've got a blue cherry now. That's right. That's right. When did baby B wake up? Yeah, it was a strong, it was a smooth eight o'clock. Luckily, he actually slept longer. Normally he wakes up at seven, but he was up when I got in the room, he woke up and started chatting to himself. So I think we were both up, or he was up probably past 4 a.m. But I went to sleep. <laughs> oh my God, I think I missed some, a super chat from Brian as well. I just remembered that I saw that. Yes, Brian, thank you so much for the super chat. I only have five more star path duties that I unlocked every area in eternity aisle. Let's go. You are so close to being finished. I'm jealous. And DTG, thank you so, so much for the $2 super chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that so much. I appreciate that so much. TJ, TJ, did I miss you? I'm sorry if I missed you when you first came in. Hello, TJ, my love, welcome in. Um, yeah, he like wakes up in the middle of the night. It's just kind of like, ah, da, 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 da. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he just like laughs and giggles and talks and it creeps me out because I think that he can see something I can't see. It's a whole thing, but he just, that's just what he does. So we let him do his thing. <laughs> But it does keep me up. I find it very difficult to sleep when he's awake. In the middle of the night, anyway. Mm. I'm currently sporting my um, spiraling mug. You guys have not checked out Console Kato's. Um, 
merch i would highly recommend also we have some amazing creators in the chat if you guys would like to support our mods please check out tj and jojo's um gaming channels here on youtube it's a great way to show um love to them for all of their help and support and their amazing content we also have console kato who is known for ddv cozy gaming dinkum animal crossing all the good stuff you guys know about kato and if you don't make sure you subscribe we also host valley talk which is a disney dreamlight valley podcast as many of you know we host that live over on Kato's channel. So make sure you're subscribed to Kato. We also have All Steph and Games in the chat. And Bestie Steph is playing DDV, Dinkum, Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, which I'm super excited about. So make sure you guys are subscribed to Steph. And we've got Jade Miss Gaming, known for DDV, Fate Farm, and other cozy games as well. Jade has super informational tip videos and things like that on her channel. So I would highly recommend you check them out. Do it, do it. Oh, thank you guys so much for the links. Babies love to be cute, creepy, right, Cherry? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, excuse me? Oh, I see. I see um Mimi in the in the VOD chat. Let's go. Um, I'm so excited. Buttercup, hello, welcome in. Miss Cupcake, so good to see you. Welcome in. Another fantastic creator, Miss Cupcake live streams lots of DDV, you guys. So make sure you guys check out Miss Cupcake. We all know who Miss Cupcake is. Welcome in. Nuka, so good to see you. Welcome in, Nuka. Gosh, there's so many creators. Nuka also is on Twitter. If you're not following Nuka on Twitter, infographics, okay? Tips, tricks, all that stuff on all your favorite games. Hello? Love all the mods. Oh, thank you, Chris. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Brie. Oh my gosh. And there's Brie. Stick figure um, designer extraordinaire. Okay. We have an artist in the chat. Please, everyone, welcome in Brie. If you're looking to have a stick figure made that looks exactly like you, like ad identical, Brie is, um, Brie's DMs are open. <laughs> Don't DM Brie. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Our generation's Picasso. Exactly, Haley. Exactly. Hello, Haley. Welcome in. Um, let me go ahead and get the game loaded up. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually hoping the game is actually working. Uh, I have this new thing happening with my DDV where when I load into the game randomly sometimes, it's like I'm like running in slow motion. It's real interesting. Real interesting. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, kind of just go with the flow today. Gabby, hello. Katie, welcome in. Feeling much better. My cheek and tooth is finally much better. Well, that's wonderful. That's great news. Fingers crossed. Uh, I'm Valkyrie Valley Girl on socials. Oh, Gabby, thank you. Thank you for telling me. <laughs> DM Bree, she would live for it. Rizid, hello, welcome in. That's been happening to you too? Well, I mean, I'm happy to know that at least it's happening to other people because I'm like, is it my computer? Is it my game? Let's see. Oh, we're all good. Yeah, exiting out of the game and coming back usually fixes the issue. So here we are. Now let's check my inventory. My inventory actually looks really good. Wow, for once I'm actually organized. Hello? Who's this? My game kept strobe flashing last night. Not the best when playing in the dark. Ooh, I feel like that could be dangerous in more ways than one. I've had a few incidents where I freeze when I try to do something and have to force quit. Yeah, I can say that DDB has been feeling a little buggy lately. Buggier than usual. I don't know if that's just because like over the break, like I don't know how game development works. Like over the break, are people working on the game or not working on the game? And so things can kind of just go haywire or am I just like making that up? Didn't you just get a new computer? No, 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 this computer is the same computer I've had. I did have to reinstall Windows. <laughs> yeah, that that's what happened. I had to reinstall Windows. That's probably what you were thinking about. Little flower, did I say hi, by the way? Playing some Final Fantasy XIV, so we'll be lurking. Wonderful, little flower. Play away. I know Final Fantasy is one of your favorites. 
So that sounds like the perfect Friday night. What are we playing tonight, friends? Is everybody playing other games? Are we playing DDV? What are we working on? It's so good to see you guys, though. Again, sorry I've been, I was all over the place today. I feel like I was super late. It started at nine and then took me long to get here. <laughs> also, also, I don't know if anybody cares, but if y'all follow me on Twitter, <laughs> if y'all follow, this is gonna sound so stupid to say this, but if you follow me on Twitter, then you saw the little post I made saying, what's your opinion about Disney Dreamlight Valley that will have you like this? And then it has like the little guy's face. You know, you guys have seen these all over Twitter. If you're on Twitter, you've seen this, where it's like unpopular opinions. Um, I posted this to Reddit. I posted this post to Reddit. And when I tell y'all, I should have, that was a mistake. <laughs> uh, that was a mistake. Yeah, I shouldn't have did that because when I tell you people are not, they not playing on Twitter, but they definitely not playing on Reddit. <laughs> oh, it's got like 400 comments. I said, excuse me? Hello? Terrifying. <laughs> Good times though. Good times. I think I'm going to not do the Reddit thing. They scare me there. <laughs> No, Kato, you have to do the Reddit thing. We need to see all your beautiful builds on Reddit. Reddit. Reddit? Who's that? On Reddit. Are you guys chatting? Excuse? I came to tell you that I know your secret. Beeps? The others might think you're... What do they call you? A robot? But I know the truth. What? That shape? Your strength? It's obvious what you are. What? An enormous egg? <laughs> Excuse me? Not Eve just said no. Eve said absolutely not. That's actually hilarious. This man said, I know your, what is strength? Strength makes her an egg? I guess. All right, so we're gonna hang out with Eve. Let's also work, what do I need to do to get this level 10 quest working? So it says, take pictures around the docks area of Ancient's Landing to reassure Eve. Well, apparently I've been doing this. The small wooden boat you arrived in. Okay, let's go take a picture of the boat. We wanna make sure that we can get this level 10 outfit ASAP. I love Gaston. A minute of your time. Eggs are protein. <laughs> Oh, Gaston is actually hilarious. I'm not going to lie. It's obvious that you're a giant egg. Is it obvious? Is it? Elderly streamer learning other forms of social <laughs> No, but really. No, but actually it's true. Okay, a strange sunken doorway between two waterfalls. Is that? It's not, is that this one? Is this two waterfalls or one waterfall? I don't think it's this, but I'm just gonna take the picture just in case, no, okay, so. Then it must be the one that, where Rapunzel was at, maybe? Uh, we'll see. I mean, if you turn her upside down, she could pass as one. I mean, it's not, he's not wrong. How's the star path grind? Oof. Uh, here's where I'm at. I don't know where I'm at, honestly. I, I've got the, I've got these duties. And we'll work on the star path some more tonight. But rewards wise, I feel like I still have a lot to go. So I really don't know that I'm very close to finishing. I'm gonna go with this lamp. Then I'll get this as well. Okay. So yeah, we'll work on some more duties too. I always feel like I have more time until I realize that it's a duty that's gated by like 10 days. <laughs> 
Jade, you're nowhere near finishing. Excuse me. Jade, we gotta, we we gonna have to, we gotta do better. Okay. You and me both. A strange sunken doorway between two waterfalls. What is this? One? Don't tell me. Uh, a strange sunken doorway. Sunken doorway. Is it Jafar? Is it? Maybe. I'm trying to finish the star pass for extra moonstones, but I have everything I want, so I'm losing what sugar cookie! Remember, you never know when you might need those motifs. <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to make sure that you do your star path all the way to the end if you don't know, because you have the ability to possibly get well. If you go all the way to the end, you'll earn Moonstones back. How do I get over here? I also finished my Star Path. Who asked Kato? Of course you finished your Star Path. Who's, is anybody surprised that Kato finished her Star Path? <laughs> Shocker. Shocker. Is it this thing? Nope. Uh, let's try down here and around. I should have, I, I can't remember what the quest was saying to do, so. Nope, not surprised. <laughs> Say. This isn't between two waterfalls, though. Is it this waterfall? Strange sunken door. Why do I feel like I haven't seen this strange sunken door? It's gotta be down here, right? I don't know. I know I'm not finishing mine. Jamie, we can do this. We can do this, guys. Don't give up. <laughs> My motto is, baby, if it says 10 days plus till it ends, we're going to be all right. Listen, it's going to be fine. It's going to be great. We are going to make, we're going to make it through this. Strange sunken door. There's no sunken door there. Everybody keep your heads up. Okay. Trust me when I say it's, we're going to, we're going to get through it. Oh, it's misty. Oh, doom and gloom. Strange. Sunken doorway between two waterfalls. Oh, is it this thing? Yay! I, I don't, I mean, I don't see a doorway. I guess that's a doorway. I guess. Uh, see, Eve, check out all the pictures I took. Nothing to worry about. Hmm. Oh, phew! It looks like the quadrant is safe, but don't worry, I won't stop there. There are some other things around the island you'll find, you might find a little scary. I'll keep scanning those until we're sure there are no dangers left. Digital beeps. I feel like Eve wouldn't be scared. Is it just me? Thanks, Teddy. Bingo bango, she's smart. The brain is working, even if it is only 10%. <laughs> even if it is only 10%, the brain is, is doing what it should be doing, okay? All right, so what? Take a picture of the possible dangers in the wild tangle in the glittering dunes, a lady with long braided blonde hair. Rapunzel? We're scared of Rapunzel? Wow. No worries, Dreamlight Dustin. No worries. No worries. You're fine. Okay. Uh, where is Rapunzel? At home? Okay. Has everyone shared brain cell today? Literally. Is it? Is it only me whose brain just stops functioning by Friday? Like by Thursday, it's fifty percent, and by Friday, it's just like I give up. Whatever, whatever happens, happens. 
Yes, thank you so much for the Brew Crew merch link, Teddy. By the way, I saw some pictures today of people who are receiving the merch, and I'm so excited. It looks so good. It looks so good. Y'all, don't forget to post your pictures. Um, If you get your merch, I would love to see some photos. My brain stops working every day at 501. <laughs> no, but, but same. Not even joking, but that's it. Um, 9 p.m. for you, sugar cookie? Yeah. No, I don't need to save the picture. All right, so we've got that. Oh, not Eve standing in a doorway. Eve said, I'm not even coming inside. Definitely not Ryan. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for renewing your membership. Welcome back to the Little Brew Crew. <laughs> Thank you so much for renewing your membership. Welcome back to the brews. A misplaced boat up um high. Okay. Yeah, this one. Sometimes I forget that this boat is even here and it's such a good detail. Let me tell you something. If we have another pirate, a pirate-esque dream snap, this is the area to take it. Look at how cool this looks in the background. This is why I really want to be able to control like, um, like we talked about on Valley Talk yesterday, rain, fog, and all that, because if I want to make my dream snap just feel a little bit spookier, just turn on the fog. It is called fog, right? Like, let me, let me play with the time of day really fast. I can't wait for more Pirates of the Caribbean. That one was a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, let come on. How cool is that? I feel like that's Goofy's boat. It could it could definitely pass, right? Waiting on a fantastic t-shirt, Billy. I'm working I'm working on it, I promise. I promise. Hey, you come to stream after your brain turns off. I do, actually. That's why you guys are left with <laughs> That's exactly why you guys are stuck with this, this, me, in this state. Let me see. Oh, Eve, ta Eve takes on a fighting stance. Um, but yeah, okay, that's good. I'm trying. Thank you. Mad Max. Uh, so good to see you, by the way. Welcome in. If you guys aren't subscribed to Mad Max, um, streaming DDV and lots of um, DDV content on TikTok, too. So I another creator I recommend very highly. Did everyone fill out their surveys? Yes, this is a great question. Nighttime K is a vibe. Oh, well, I'm glad you guys enjoy. I don't like collars on my neck. Um, I will not be bound. <laughs> it does feel like that, doesn't it? A plant with very pointy teeth. Okay, I won't lie. Venus fight fly traps are actually terrifying. Okay, a man with an impossibly thick neck. Maui. Ugh. I don't, I don't like the, I don't like the thought of a man with an impossibly thick neck. Ex excuse me? It's giving thick. <laughs> a thick, thick neck. Hello? You're so welcome, Mad Max. They use the word thick a lot. What's with that? Not thick. Whoa. Oh, guess where he is, friends? Is anybody shocked that Maui is actually in Scrooge's shop, where he oh, always is, taking up space? <sighs> yep, yeah, no. Also, nothing good in Scrooge's shop today, by the way. I don't even need him to turn around. It's not Maui? 
A man with an impossibly thick neck? Not the, not Ma Maui don't even have a neck it's so thick. Maui's neck is connected to his shoulders. The end of his shoulders. Y'all are telling me it's Gaston. Okay, well, first of all, that would make sense. But also, Gaston's neck is not that thick. Thick. <laughs> neck not thick enough. <sighs> oh, his song says he has a thick neck. Does it? I don't remember Gaston's song. I need to rewatch this movie. Have you ever saw Beauty and the Beast? Listen, I have seen Beauty and the Beast, okay? Wow, it is beautiful at this time. <gasps> Look at the boat all the way over there in the sunset. All right, okay. All right. D Disney extraordinaires. Excuse me. Yeah, I know the Mickey Cloud. Is it still here? Where'd it go? There it is. The Mickey Cloud is such a nice touch. Excuse me, sir. I need a picture of your neck. Ah! Ow! What is happening? Why is he up on me like this? I need you to back up off me, sir. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, uh. I'm his new bell. Uh, uh. No, Ab absolutely not. Mm, it was absolutely a jump scare. Excuse me. Let's take a picture of my snake. Does that count? Yes. And a waterfall of sand. Boundaries aren't his thing. I mean, right, obviously. Obviously not. That's another thing I'd like to do. I want to get his his meat stand unlocked. I don't I don't like saying that. <laughs> I don't I don't like I don't like saying that. His meat stand? I don't think so. <laughs> Excuse? Why is this happening tonight? I blame y'all. I blame y'all. This went from very, uh, this this went from cozy to uncozy real fast. <laughs> Megley, stop, oh my God. Woo. Excuse me? Random question, how do I get rid of the gray stones in Attorney Al? I tried Googling, but it only brought up the bronzy rocks. The gray stones? Um, is it the sandstones that like float like the ones that are in the background right now? Because if so, you use your staff. Reporting in with some more scans, Eve, there's nothing to fear on Eternity Isle. That misplaced boat in the Wild Tangle is completely secure. No danger of falling. Uh, are you sure about that? It's balancing on the, you know what? I'm not gonna question Dot's science. And the snakes in the glittering dunes, they're actually kind of cuddly. As for that fellow with the thick neck, he's a friend, don't worry. He's more annoying than dangerous. He's mostly harmless. Why can't we just say Gaston? Why we gotta call him a thick neck? <laughs> Pixel! Yes, we have new mods. We're welcoming in Mimi and Cherry to the mod team. Thank you so much for noticing, Pixel. How are you? Yes. Yeah, sh oh, shovel level two. Okay, maybe the wrong rocks that I'm thinking of. There's something on your whole screen. Might be mud. <laughs> Might be mud. Oh my god. I can't deal with this. 
Maui has a neck? Exactly, TJ. That's why I was like, it has to be Maui, right? Because Maui's neck is just like connected to the shoulder, like from here to here. How do you have a neck? That's a thick neck. When your neck is connected to the edge of your shoulders, please. I'm gonna say he's more annoying than dangerous. Hmm. Oh, phew. You don't have to worry about dangers anymore. This is your home. You're safe here, I promise. Home. Yay. Does this mean... Wait, is it another quest? Ah, oh, sigh, directive. Anything you need? It must be a little weird for you not having anything to do after guarding the hourglass for so long. Frantic digital beeps, which I imagine sound like... Um, so y'all gonna unsubscribe now or later? <laughs> I just wanted to make sure that the demonstration was in line with how it seemed in my head. Let's, we'll chat about that. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's chat later. You know? Uh, okay, you sound a little stressed. Let's do something fun first. There are lots of monkeys around Ancient's Landing. Maybe we could feed some of them. They're funny and cute. Oh, hmm. Those monkeys probably only eat certain things. I think we'll need to whip up something worthy of at least three stars. Amanda! What in tarnation? <laughs> what in tarnation? <laughs> oh my goodness. Welcome in. It's so good to see you. Uh, Oceana, welcome in. We can't. We are contractually obligated to sub forever. This is true. And I'm glad that you read your contracts. Directive. I love that, Claire. Oh, okay. Maybe they'd like a banana-based dessert. Um, no. They're getting the berry salads that is in my inventory right now. Unless I actually have to. Yeah, no. Okay. Let's go feed the little monkeys. Should I make them the banana splits? Claire! <laughs> oh my god. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Alright, what's a banana split? I don't even think I know that recipe. Never mind, I lied. I'm not gonna lie, this banana split actually looks good, but banana and ice cream mixed together is just an abomination. It really is. We're invested for life. Fantastic. Fantastic. Amazing. Wonderful. All right, where is the monkeys? Where do monkeys be at? I know there's a monkey over here. Delicious, you mean? Mm, more like disgusting. You know what I like better? I like coffee ice cream. Coffee with little chocolate bits in it. Mm. Actually, there's some up there in the fridge. I'll have some after stream tonight. Before I lay my head down on a pillow and just drift away to a dreamless sleep. Berries are not bananas. Mm, mm. Mint chocolate chip is always a great choice. Always a great choice. I had banana cream pie on Wednesday. I mean, let's be honest. Banana pudding and banana cream pie is probably good. Okay, there's one monkey. We'll feed this one. Come here, little guy. I need, I need to collect, hello? He's cheating. Amazing, fantastic, wonderful. <laughs> I do a scoop of coffee, scoop of chocolate, and pour root beer over it. Ex excuse me, Beans Mama? Kato, did you hear that? A scoop of coffee ice cream, a scoop of chocolate ice cream, and pour root beer over it. That sounds so, I have to try that. 
Petition to bring back our snack streams. Do you guys remember those? All right, there's enough chasing after this monkey, okay? This was fun, but I need you to sit it on down. <laughs> sit it on down. If this monkey just glitches and disappears, I'll lose it. Finally! Here, take a banana split. Oh, that does look really good. I miss snack streams? <laughs> Sounds like Kato would like. I, that, right? Kato would not love. Oh, I mean, I guess it's a good motif. Let's see if there's another monkey up this way. I love the reactions. They were fun to do. I really, I actually really enjoyed those. Yeah, we'll bring them back. I need a new list of snacks though. Desserts edition. Mm. <gasps> Pretzels and cream cheese. Ooh, I know I'm gonna like that one. I know I'm gonna like that one. Hey, look at this little monkey. He has a little, his face is kind of pink. Are you sunburned? It is hot out here on Eternity Isle. I think this will be my second time feet. Hello. I forget the monkeys are kind of bugged, so we may have to try to do this another way. Yeah. Uh, let's try this instead. Can you feed? I can't remember if you can feed a companion. I don't think you can actually. Ugh, you can only pet. Okay. Well, this is not ideal. In this area, they always glitch. I wonder what it is about over here on this side. Maybe if I try it walking up really slow. There we go. This monkey is so cute though. I cannot wait to have this monkey as a companion. Okay. Oh yeah, they're definitely, they're definitely T-posing, Cherry. <laughs> Has anyone decorated their Eternity Isles yet? I, I'm curious about that. Has anybody started decorating Eternity Isle yet? I'm way too focused on questing to decorate at Le Moment. Cottage cheese and potato chips! Cottage cheese. I mean, okay, so both things I like. I love potato chips, and I do enjoy cottage cheese. Like, cottage cheese doesn't weird me out. So maybe I'll like it. I did, like, small decor. Okay, smaller areas. Okay, so some people are finishing quests first. Some have decorated a little bit here and there. Okay, so let's talk to Eve. So, did you have fun? Woohoo! See, not everyone out there is an enemy. No need to be stressed. What's next? Wally? You wanna see Wally? What a great idea. Woohoo! Directive. Oh, you want me to follow you? Let's go. Oh, oh. Don't, I guess I don't mind if I do. Where, how are we gonna get to Wally from here? Okay. Frantic digital beeps? Whoa. Yes, this is the overlook. This used to be a weird time rift here, but I removed it so we can keep exploring. Wally. I guess we're going to I guess we're going this way then. We just Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> we uh actually just came uh from this side, but that's fine. I know, her flying is so adorable to me. I, I really do love it. Let's eat something. Oh, what is this place? It's in ruins. Oh, Eve, Wally, Lance, 
Wait, was this like a secret spot you shared with Wally? A secret garden? Digital beeps. I think it needs some work. Uh, let's make it good as new. Woohoo! I can see what's left of the imprint of something round like a trans trash can. Weird. Lance and Wally. Oh, that's right. Wally sometimes uses trash cans as planters. Wally! And there seems to have been some kind of blanket here at some point, too. <sighs> with all that time, with all those time anomalies, an 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 enemy. With all those time anomalies, maybe they're still around Ancient's Landing, hiding in the swirling sands. I'll go look for them. And I'll even add some flowers and maybe some jade for decoration, too. Woohoo! Okay, so this actually used to be a little romantic getaway for these two little lovebirds. Exit the secret garden. Okay. Miss Midnight! Hello, welcome in. Uh, I've done a little bit. Okay, I did glamping area, but it was kind of part of a quest. Okay, okay. Amy, you're working on your market in Eternity Owl? I can't wait to redo the market. Um, Pearls of Panda, thank you so much for hanging out. Have a great night. Thank you for being here. What are we doing now? Uh, use your hourglass to find the lost objects around the swirling sands of Agent Landing. Okay. The swirling sands. These? Hmm. Eve is the definition of a cute shy girl, literally. I feel like I remember Eve being more brave in the movies, but maybe because she's been locked away for so long, you know? Well, that's not it. Maybe this one? Princess Luca, so good to see you, welcome in. I just made a cactus garden. I love that idea. Yeah, I feel like this area, I, I wanna rebuild this this area especially, Ancient's Landing, specifically to be um, like a, a renewed port town, as it's in, that's kind of like how it's intended, I guess. Oh my goodness, Pixel! Thank you so much for 10 months. Um, here's to last more months of being a part of the Cozy Brew Crew. Thank you so much, Pixel. You're so close to one year. And Nerdy! Oh my goodness, Nerdy. Thank you so much for five gifted memberships. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Jamie, Sarah, Amy, NZ, Jen, congratulations. Welcome to the Little Brew Crew. Can you guys show lots of love to Nerdy? Please say thank you so much for the gifted memberships. Nerdy, that means so much to me. Thank you for your support on the channel, for always being here on the live streams. It's always so good to see you. And thank you for the love. Congratulations. If you are gifting a give it a If you were gifted a membership, um, you now have access to custom emotes and private community posts. Okay, that trash can is not. Passing the vibe check for me, but it's fine. I'm in a tibial time. I'm in a tibial. You're always in a tibial time. Okay. Yes, lots of hearts in the chat for Nerdy. Thank you so, so much. And Pixel, my goodness, we're two months away from a year. That's kind of crazy, right? Na -na. Shelby, hello. I've uh, been watching you for a few days while I'm sick. Thank you. You made me so happy. Oh, Thank you so much. I'm so sorry you're sick. I hope you feel better. I feel like everybody's sick right now. It's a struggle. I hope you feel better. And thank you so much for hanging out with me while you've been sick. Anything here? No. I don't think Eve is following you. Yeah, Eve des definitely disappeared. Um. Okay, specifically Ancient's Landing, though, so... Did I miss one that's over here? No. 
I wouldn't assume it's the swirling sands that we can't remove yet. But maybe I'm wrong about that. Wally. Oh, there she is. Hope it's making rounds again. I know. Um, I heard it's kind of bad right now. And then there's me. I'd just be in the house. <laughs> I got sick like four times over the summer, but now I haven't gotten sick. Well, maybe your immune system just is like rock solid now. Okay, this has to be it, right? No. Wow, fantastic. Amazing. <laughs> Wonderful. Need an upgraded hourglass? Well, that's great. Can't wait until we get new characters to assign them time bending. Haven't been able to make the manuals. Are you lacking the dream light you need? Or what's the resource that you need to make them? Let's see if I have... How much... Upgrade hourglass. Baby. Oh, that's not bad. I can do that one. Okay. My hourglass has been upgraded. I should be able to remove the bigger ones now, which I've kind of needed to do this for a while. So here we are. Yay. Recovering from pneumonia? Oh my goodness! Oh, this, it is bad out here right now. My friend got a full body rash from COVID this time around. Yeah, see, that's the thing about um, COVID, right? It's like it's got variants that is, it's like constantly changing. So, I mean, I don't know anything. Like, I'm not a doctor, obviously, but I hear it's like it's constantly changing. So you could get like a brand new version every year or something or a strain. Like what? No, thanks. Yeah, actually on stream today, I want to craft some um, manuals so I can uh, change some people to time bending. Okay, where is this blanket? Don't tell me it's gonna be glitched. I'm not even gonna jinx it. I'm gonna jinx it. I'm gonna knock on wood. Check behind the waterfall. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, there is one back here. There it is. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Brittany. <laughs> Um, all right, so we need to gather flowers. We need orange birds of paradise, yellow birds of paradise, white birds of paradise, and red luminescent flowers. Okay, so that's everything in this biome. I have some at home so we can go check, but let's just collect up what we can from here. We need some jade too. I mean, expensive setup. Goodness gracious. I got the beige monkey. Nice. I'm going to go. Okay, it's 3 a.m. getting a headache. Oh, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope your headache feels better. Get some rest. Thank you for being here. I know it's super late for you. I caught a cold for my mom, so love that for me. Love that for me. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, it looks like I'm working on something for Mickey, too, that I forgot about. I need bowls for Minnie, but I only have three. Let's see if there's some birds of paradise up here. Why do I feel like the birds of paradise are like scarce? I can't wait to see what everything looks like once I've cleared it all out. Need some jade, I'm right here. I do need some jade, Jade. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna go Let's go to our house because I think I can get some birds of paradise from there. See how much we have. Excuse me, but I think you can help. Teddy, I was dying laughing at that comment. Do you think, uh, do you want Marvel or Star Wars characters? I do not. For some reason, I feel like Marvel, uh, may, and this is just my opinion, but I just feel like Marvel and Star Wars doesn't really fit hey, I've got a job for you. the Disney theme. But I don't know. 
Maybe, maybe that's just me. Sandra, it's so good to see you. Welcome in. I'll just take them all. Whoa! We only have one yellow Birds of Paradise, which is not fantastic. As a Marvel Star Wars diehard, I agree they don't be belong in this universe. I I absolutely love Marvel and Star Wars. Star Wars, I probably don't love as much as Marvel. I still love it, but like the Marvel movies are like, I have cried my eyes out on those movies. Like they're just so good. They are just so, so good. But yeah, I just don't see how, I don't know. I just don't, I don't want to say they don't fit the aesthetic because that feels bougie to say. I just, I don't know. It would seem um, weird to have them in the valley to me. Um, but I could also see them releasing it as a DLC and then people can pick and choose, which is another thing. I, I, again, I've said this before, but that's why I like the idea of DLCs because you can kind of customize your valley experience. <laughs> okay, not one to be pushy. <laughs> Uh, R2 and Eve could be Wally's friend. That I that I could get down with. That's that specifically would be great. Oh, over here. I just don't know if I could see like Iron Man. <laughs> you know? Spider-Man just comes swinging through the valley. The Marvel characters are very realistic. Right. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Groot. Groot is my favorite. I, okay, all right, all right, all right. So I feel like, um, Can I get a little help? what's it called? Ugh. Um, 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 um. Star-Lord, what the, what's the movie? Why am I, why is it, y'all, I'm tired. What's the name of the movie? It's one of my favorites, and I can't remember the name right now. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yes. Guardians of the Galaxy, all of those movies are some of my favorite Marvel movies. I absolutely love them. Um, and Groot, I swear, that first movie. Oh, okay, the first movie, while they're falling out of the sky, and Groot wraps himself around them in a big bundle of like weeds and sticks and stuff to protect them and then like breaks apart on impact i cry my eyes out i am a big i'm a big baby when it comes to these movies okay <laughs> y'all do not want to watch movies i will literally cry i absolutely love group i need to get like a little group figurine him dancing as a little baby in the pot Uh, love it. Oh yeah, cried my eyes out during Infinity War. Absolutely cry, cried, cried, cried. Like need tissue, cried. Not like the a little tear like streams down my cheek, down. like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, like ugly cried. Right, Anita. Can I talk to you? Dun, 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 dun. I'm assuming the yellow birds of paradise is one of the more rare versions of the flower. I think I'm gonna just make sure I pick up all the flowers so they respawn. I feel like that's probably the best strategy. Hello? I wouldn't mind having Marvel Star Wars characters, especially if they can yeet the forgotten out of the valley. Not us tr treating the forgotten like the villain that she is. <laughs> ah, that is funny. Oh yeah, the last mo movie with Tony. Yeah, that that is that that one was rough. That was rough for me. That one was rough. We knew it was gonna be, so we knew it was gonna be Captain Captain America or Tony. 
We did know that. Kalita, you love the forgotten. That's okay. See, that's the thing. You, you can, somebody earlier today was like, absolutely love Maui. And I was like, you know what? And that's your right. <laughs> your game, that's your right. I feel like Pride Walk would look, uh, would go good in the Wild Tangle. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I think it would fit really good there, actually. I think that it would actually, it might even fit better than the Sunlit Plateau just because it feels more like jungle-esque. But it works good in both places, I think. Um, all right, so I just need one more Birds of Paradise. So while we wait on that to respawn, let's work on some Star Path. Just so, you know, we're being productive. Let's see what our duties are. Harvest something red. Give a sweet and speedy villager her favorites. Uh, eat some nearly perfect meals, okay? Spend time with a bow-wearing friend. Bow. Interesting. Huh. Okay, well, we'll do some of these. Harvest Eternity, I'll vegetables, sell minerals, gain 500 star coins, hang out with Gaston for five minutes. We have to. Also, this doesn't work for harvesting something red. I think I actually have to plant plants. Smiley! Hello, welcome in. So good to see you. I put my pride rock in the lagoon. It fits nicely. Ooh, I like that y'all have been so productive. Bestie forgotten. K is sleepy. K is K is a step past sleepy. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but that's what I am. I'm actually super excited to decorate the eternity, all of eternity owl. Um, I have no idea what I would do yet, though. Okay, uh, sell one mineral. We'll sell it here. Oh, Care Bear, I'm sorry if I missed you, by the way, but good night. Thank you so much for hanging out, and I hope you get some sleep. Happy Friday to you. Thank you for being here. Do I have a mineral to sell? No, but I'm just going to, I'm going to mine one instead of selling the one that we need. Crystal! Thank you so much for nine months. We've birthed a little coffee baby. Crystal, hello. Oh my goodness. How are you? So good to see you. And thank you so much for nine months. That means so, so, so much to me. Lily, hello and welcome in love. How are you? Okay, so I'm going to sell... Oh, oh, oh. See you later. See you later. Take a picture. Um, yes, if you guys are not subscribed to Crystal here on YouTube, plays lots of Disney Dreamlight Valley, live streams some DDV too, so make sure you guys check out Crystal's channel. Crystal, why do I feel like it's been a minute since I've seen you? You been okay? Hope all is well with you. Doing good, good. I'm good grinding the star path. Can you, can anybody, I cannot wait, okay? I cannot wait until they, and I'm just calling it now, until they add the ability for us to track star path duties. <sighs> I just, I simply just cannot wait. Have a daily discussion. Um, also, while I'm over here, let me see if I can find the snake to feed. I'm gonna... I forgot to, I forgot to give someone their favorite gifts. Yeah, I definitely forgot to give someone their favorites. I think it was um, Vanellope yesterday. Mr. Reaver, hello. Oh my goodness, thank you for eight months. We've got Crystal at nine and you at eight. Thank you so much, welcome, welcome. How are you? Thank you so much for your membership. It really does mean a lot to me. Thank you for your support on the channel. 
didn't want to see any spoilers. That makes perfect sense. Totally understandable. How are you liking the uh, DLC? Assuming you got the DLC. Is it too wishful to hope for vanilla uh, for a Valentine star path? I don't think so. So here's the thing. We were all super excited and hopeful for a Valentine star path last year, but I think Valentine's Day was also like their Disney's 100th anniversary or something like that. So I'm hoping this year we will get a Valentine's Day star path, which I think will be really, really good. Doing awesome, oh, it's so good to hear. Just had my first iron transfusion earlier today. They almost had to reschedule for another date. Oh no, but my OB gave the okay and everything went well. I'm so glad that you were able to have your iron transfusion. I hope you're feeling okay. I hope you're feeling okay. And I'm glad you didn't have to reschedule. Rescheduling, rescheduling stuff like that is just a pain. How's my reading going? Rebecca, it's going so good. So I am more than halfway through Iron Flame. Um, I can probably get it read this weekend. Um, maybe this weekend, by latest next week, I think I can have it finished. Or I'd like to anyway, because then I can, I can start another book while we wait for the other books to come in that series. Ooh, Valentine's Star Path, Queen of Hearts stuff and Flamingo Companion. Oh my goodness, could you imagine? Could you imagine if there's some kind of like cute, val like mini in a Valentine's Day dress or something? How cute would that be? And us with a Valentine's dress or something? I would love. Would this count as harvesting something red? No. Okay, it's it's literally like I need to garden. I need to plant something red, which I think the lentils could work. Is that a snake? Oh. I'm excited for, for you to finish Iron Flame. I literally can't wait. I'm at the part. I'm, um, I won't say at the part I'm at because I don't want to spoil it for anybody. But I am into the chapter, like, the second part of the chapter of the book, if that makes sense. That makes sense. Don't want to spoil it for anyone who is not there yet. Mickey and Minnie and Valentine's Day would be a cute star path item, right? It would be so adorable. Oh, it would be so adorable, right, TJ? Yay! We got the black and white, uh, black and white? <laughs> black and white cappy. That's cute. Okay, so let's see. Uh, what was I coming over here to do? Hi. Oh, oh. farming. Uh, yeah, let's do the lentils because they're red. I guess I'm just going to do 50. Then a lurk while playing DDV. Nerdy, thank you so much for everything. I so appreciate your super chat and your support on the channel. I hope that you are having a blast playing DDV. Wow. Whoops, I bought an extra one. Hate that I did that. Good boy. Good boy. My inventory's full. Pink snake is in the oasis right now. I swear I was just over there and I did. Oh, I have to feed the pink snake today because if the pink snake is there today and I feed it, I will have access to the pink snake. So we must do. I'm really far in D far behind in DDV. I'm not even halfway done with the main part of the game and not a rift in time. That's okay though. No pressure, right? I mean, move at your own pace. I'm not, I feel like I'm not even that far into the DLC, honestly. But y'all know I, I'm a slow player, so. All right, I don't see this. I don't see the snake, which means it's behind the things. I'm gonna upgrade my tool so I can get through. I know, Brooke, I love the pink snake too. Hi, Brooke, by the way. 
Nope, the Easter event comes back. I procrastinated on it. I need the Easter event to come back because I also procrastinated. <laughs> I also procrastinated really bad and um, I didn't get to craft everything. Put all this stuff away. Then we need to go to the kitchen. Hey, have you, uh, have they done a Mardi Gras, um, star path before? Um, MB, I don't think that they have. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we haven't had a Mardi Gras theme, but that could be fun. Could people give you extra eggs to craft? It's a good question. I wonder if we could trade eggs. I don't see why not, though. My little Louisiana heart would burst if they did a Mardi Gras theme. I feel like a Mardi Gras theme could be so much fun. I feel like that could be done really well, you know? Uh, okay, the rest of this is fine. Mimi, you have plenty of eggs. Why, why am I not shocked that you have plenty of eggs? I had like... I think I had, so I had a lot of all the eggs except for the little blue ones. <laughs> so here I am. Maybe they'll do like a different color or something this year. But thank you, Mimi. I need to, I don't even know what recipes I'm missing, like what I didn't get to craft. I need to figure it out. I know I'm missing something though. There you are. Excuse me? I don't see... Do you guys see any birds of paradise anywhere? These flowers, these glowing ones, are my absolute favorite. See, y'all are better than me. I am not good at... I won't say that I'm not good at it, but sometimes like even with the wallpaper or the wrapping paper, I just, I forget sometimes that it's a whole thing that I'm working on. I think that's what happened with the Easter eggs for me. Oh, furniture item. I, could, I literally couldn't exit out fast enough. At least it was actually new. But I feel like I have every black countertop that exists in the game. I guess not. <laughs> Claire, but it's new, okay? But it's new. But it's not. Okay? Why are my posts getting likes from bots? Uh, your posts where? Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so we're waiting on Birds of Paradise. We just need one more yellow. Um, so I guess we'll just wait for... Oh, that's what I want to do. I want to upgrade my tool. Let's do that. Brooke, did you really like it? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm really hoping it does well. Um, large copper rocks. This one. Okay, we should be good now. Um, I am so glad. I hope you enjoyed. It was not an easy video to make. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know how people do it. I literally have no idea how people do these day one to 100 videos. It, that's tough. It is tough. But I do commend any creator who do, does those videos and does them well because it takes a lot of effort. The video took me five hours to record because every day in Moonlight Peaks is about 20 minutes long. So I recorded for five hours straight and then edited down all of the footage. There's the snake. I knew you were back here. Well, don't mind if I do uh, do this the easy way. <laughs> yes! 
Oh my gosh, if we do do something for Valentine's Day, the pink cobra is perfect. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh my, I love this. I love the cobra so much. Hold on. Yes. She is the cutest. I want a cobra like this in real life. Honestly, I want like a miniature python. A part of, in my mind, I want a miniature python, but in real life, I, I don't think so. <gasps> what? Look at this area. This is so cool. Not just a random pineapple and fruits back here. We've got lots of stuff that is up here for decoration. Bones? This area is literally so cool. Out here too long, I feel like I woke up from a dream, found a big pile of coconut husks. Oh gosh. <laughs> Not LeFou's origin story. I swear if there's coins in this, I have that one already. Yeah, I do. Fine. I mean, but this is this area is so cool. Like a dream snap in here. That's what I really love about Eternity Isle. There's a lot of these little hidden spots that are perfect for dream snaps. Let's see if that counts as harvesting something red. No. Okay. I know, I hate that we can't decorate. I hope that's something that's patched later. I really, really do. All right, let's go up here and do our little farmland. We need to plant all of our lentils so that we can harvest them. Um, but we need an area big enough to actually do that. So let's run back down this way. We need Indiana Jones in the game, right? With all the snakes and stuff. I'm doing the grind for time bending manuals and the struggle is real. Let me go see how much it actually costs to make time bending manuals. Um, default gamer. Hello, welcome in. How are you tonight? It's so good to see you. And thank you so much for two months and all of your support on the channel. You have been absolutely amazing. Hope all is well with you. And I'm glad you enjoyed Valley Talk. We had so much fun. Valley Talk was great. Jessica, hello, by the way. Welcome in. Heard the grind is easier if you change mini Moana and someone else. So specifically them. I think, I think it's just the more people you have as time benders, the more mist you make. It's the same thing with like the more people you have as gardeners. You can trade manuals um, with people. Oh yeah, okay, they have to, be, so they have to be playing on the same platform though. Oh, I'm so glad you guys enjoyed Valley Talk. We appreciate y'all's support so much. And again, I know sometimes we talk about difficult conversations on there. I mean, and when I say difficult, I mean, these aren't like real life, real world problems, but they are topics that can be heated depending on who you are and what your opinion is. So I'm glad that we can share different opinions and still all respect and love each other at the end of the day. That's the most important part. It's still a grind since you need Dreamlight for manuals too. Yeah, it definitely is. I could definitely see that. Oh, there's some amber. Very good. I'm gonna make one more row here. Tay, it's so good to see you. Welcome in. I'm grinding for Mist and the Valley Project Timeless Trash. Wait. Oh, I don't know if I'm that, maybe I'm not at that quest yet. It just takes a long time to get the character specific gifts. 
It does, it can sometimes take a minute. Fed the pink snake, thanks for the reminder. Yes, how many times do you think you have left to feed the snake before they're a companion? Oh, thank you, NZ. I'm gonna see if I, how, like, how much I actually need. I might have the resources I need, but I'll let you know. I will let you know. Also, if we do another paleo stream here soon, probably sometime next week, do you guys want to watch an interior decorating for paleo? Because my house has grown, it's grown pretty big since the last time you've seen it. Um, and we need to get the interior done over again. Yes? Okay. Okay. I'm excited. I mean, I have a ton of stuff. I will say, Paleo does need to work on the storage situation, though. The storage is just not great. I feel like in a game like that, we need at least 10,000 storage space. And I really wish the chests could be, like, separated by item. I mean, you can filter to show what you're looking for, but I just like the idea of having certain chests in certain places that only have the items that I've put inside of them. Kind of like how DDV does it. Like we have infinity chests, but then we also have just regular chests. The storage limit of Paleo in the garden plot limit needs to be increased. Yeah, for sure. All right, how much is that? Okay, we should we should get enough from this garden. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, I gotta get the I gotta get the here and there fish out of my inventory. <laughs> it's a jump scare every time I see it. Love paleo decorating. Oh, Brooke, we know you do. We know you do. By the way, I saw this for those of you who like uh, Lego Fortnite. I saw this creator on YouTube. Um, I just want to shout. I just want to shout them out because. The cutest little Lego house build, and it really inspired me to like want to play Lego Fortnite. Um, let me see really quickly. It'll be in my history. <laughs> like Lego, if you guys haven't played Lego Fortnite, it's a lot of fun, by the way. Um, I'm an idiot. Where's uh? Oh, duh. Why can't I find it? <laughs> I'll 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 tell you guys what it is later. I'm act I in my mind I don't know how to use YouTube anymore. So it's great. It's fantastic and amazing and wonderful. I'll continue watching. No, okay, we're out of there. It was, it was a yellow house, L. I've been playing Lego Fortnite every night. Oh, Beck, I I just know you love Lego Fortnite. It's so much fun, right? So I bought the little skin where I'm that like pink bear. <laughs> it's kind of cute. It's kind of a cute skin. Could I talk to you? What's his handle? I wish I knew. Let me see. You might have it. Nope, not that guy. Hold on. I can I can get I can get it from here. I'll give you guys the link. Hold on. There's a lot of really talented Lego um Fortnite creators. Mira, yeah, it's Mira here on YouTube also does Lego Fortnite content. Okay, here it is. Making a simple house uh, in Lego Fortnite. I'm going to drop the link in chat. This little house is so cute. I'm like, I want to build that and I want to live in it. It's a whole thing. Gerdo TV has a great Fortnite uh, content. I can, oh, you know what? Yes, yes. Plug, plug, plug. It is glitchy. I think that they could work on their like actual building in the game. Uh, it's a, I mean, maybe I just didn't give it a chance, but I feel like it could be a little bit easier to build than it is currently. 
But there's so much you can do. By the way, I think I found your YouTube when you were playing Wildflowers and I finally started playing today. I absolutely love it. Yes, Wildflowers. Is Ross here? Yes to Wildflowers. Um, Elena, I'm so sorry I missed your message, by the way. Just started DDB. Um, I love your videos. Thank you so much for being clear and organized. Also love the cozy vibes. Elena, I'm so sorry I missed your message, but I hope you're still here. And thank you so much for watching all of the videos and enjoying them and for the feedback. I appreciate that so much. I'm glad you enjoy. That really means a lot to me. But yes, Lexi, I love wildflowers. Um, I'm going to start finishing game this year, even if I'm not finishing them on stream or on camera. Like, I'm going to start finishing them in my personal life. And Wildflowers, I think, needs to be one of those games for sure. Sandbox mode is great for exploring and building. I love sandbox mode because it just gives you the ability to not have to worry about anything, but just cozy decorating if that's what you want. Or building, I should say. All right, let's go back and check the Birds of Paradise. See if they've spawned in yet. I played Wildflowers and I love it. Ooh, I did too. It's so good. Hi, Mama T, by the way. Does the game know I need this flower or something? Where is it? I feel like everything is uh, coming back except for the Birds of Paradise. <laughs> Coral Island is so addicting. Coral Island is one that I definitely 100% want to finish. I just have so many. I think my problem is that like, I don't know if this is a thing, <laughs> but like I just have different moods every day where it's like, one day I want to play Skyrim. One day I want to play Roots of Pacha. One day I want to play Coral Island. One day I'm in the mood for DDV. One day I'm in the mood for Palea. <laughs> like, hello? Can you just pick a zone? Paleo Pines is another absolutely amazing game. It is definitely a great time for gaming. I'm not complaining. Listen, keep... Keep bringing on the games because if there's ever a dry spell with games, um, we will still be covered. Yeah, I'm going to go back and check the secret room now. Oh, there's some, there's white birds of paradise here. <gasps> Yay! Okay, there it is. Got it. Perfect. Oh, she's out of here. Bring the materials to Eve. Eve. Eve is on the way back to the location. There's a lot of games to choose from. There really are. I remember also in Deacom K when you're getting chased by the alligators. Oh, what a time. What a time to be alive in Deacom. Those crocs were not anything to mess with. Um, okay, so let's give Eve all the items. I remember when Kay accidentally caught her avatar on fire. I indeed did. Yeah, that, that definitely happened. That, that's such a Kay thing to do. Woohoo! Uh, do you think you need anything else? Hmm, no. Do you need my help to put everything in the secret garden? No. Oh, you want to do it by yourself? How sweet. Directive. Are you ready to go see um, Wally now? Wally, lead the way. Well, isn't this adorable? I want this little stacked jade thing right here. Oh, Eva. Oh, Wally, plants. Can y'all stop it right now? Look at them. They're so close. Take, oh, they, they knew. They knew we were going to want the pictures. 
<laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Eve, don't worry about me. Eve, why do you look so sad? Can you smile? Get your hand down, girl. Not my snake. Photo bombing. That's so cute. I know. I wish after she was reunited with Wally that she would cheer up a bit. Directive. Wally, woohoo! I'm so glad you seem much happier. Directive, plants. So this is your new directive? Taking care of secret garden plants with Wally? Yeah. Directive. Have a lot of fun, Eve. I'll see you around. Yeah. Giggle. Yeah. Yay! Now, does that mean... Oh my gosh, there's another quest! I thought this... How many... How many quests did I have to do with Eve? Oh, oh, plants. What's happening? Directive, plants. Yes, I remember you helped Wally with the plants in the secret garden. Why are you so worried? Frantic digital beeps. Did something happen to the plants? Eve, did you do something to the plants? Um, plants, earth? Don't panic, I'll help you with whatever's happening. Let's go. Oh my God! Wait, hello? Hold on. Not me in the midst of a, fly, a fire taking pictures. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna take it from this way because the light, Eve, get back here. You, you set the place on fire. <laughs> Not me being the angry mom. Okay. Um, I'm not exactly, what it, use your watering can on the fires? Okay, well, that, that makes sense. It does. Mm, don't love that animation. Mm -mm, don't love that animation. Almost, almost too cartoony for me. I think we could do better than that. <laughs> Fleeing the scene of a crime. What happened? I like how Eve just brought me over here to light myself on fire and then just dipped like, hmm. not my problem anymore. Ma'am? <laughs> I also took pictures, not gonna lie, same. I mean, you just saw me take pictures, so. Directive. Directive. Not as traumatic as a Simspire. Oh, that's because you're actually getting taken out by a Simspire. Um, Darth, hello, welcome in. We love a pyro. That's exactly uh I, I think I am. Slightly. Very just slightly. Mm -mm. How did this happen? Did you use a laser cannon on the planters? Frantic digital beeps. Why? Directive plants. That's not how you give plants sunlight. You warm plants up, get rid of the weeds. I'm going to say that's not how you give plants sunlight. <sighs> I'm sure we can fix that. Phew. I think we can make this place even nicer. Oh, then I know who to ask for help. You go fetch some new plants and I'll go see Mirabelle. Mirabelle? Oh, she just literally just popped up. Heard you guys needed me? Oh, hey, it's you. Could you help me out? Hola, Dad. I've been having so much fun exploring Eternity Out. Anything you need my help with? You've met Eve, right? I have. She's so cute with Wally. Well, Eve accidentally incinerated her plants. Aww. Whoa, uh, that's not good. So, while she replaces the plants, I wanted to add something to their secret garden. Something mm, she can't destroy so easily. Well, you're in luck because before the forgetting... Aww. You had a project like that. You wanted to create a stone canvas where Eve could use her laser to create art. 
Wow. You asked me for help and I've kept all the plans we made together. Do you remember the materials? Let me think. We're gonna need quartz and then something called plastic. Oh, and ancient gemstones too. You had to search around uh, for, for them using your hourglass. Then you had Eve melt them. I remember they were supposed to be around Ancient's Landing. Okay, I think I'll do, I'll need to talk about it with Eve first. Thanks a lot, Mirabelle. Anytime, Dot. Adios. Mickey just popped up out of nowhere. Y'all making me want to play The Sims right now. Mm. But then again, I kind of just want to play all the games, so. No, Eve, no. Eve said, let me see what this laser can do. Directive, you won't believe it, but there's a project from before the forgetting that would be perfect for a secret garden. A stone canvas you can use your laser on to make something beautiful for you and Wally. Woohoo! I'm gonna need your help to melt the ancient gemstones. That's the most important thing. Directive, I'll go look for the ancient gemstones now. Okay, so we need ancient gemstones. Oh. We need Isabella. Yes, I would love Isabella. And Mulan. Can't wait for Mulan. I'm gonna go now and get ready for bed. Good night all. Oh, Amanda, thank you so much for hanging out. Have a great, a great night. Have a wonderful weekend. And thank you for being here. We'll see you on the next one. Oh, did I find one already? An ancient gemstone? Hmm. Okay. Oh, I want to know if you have a DDV Discord. I do, Elena. I do have a Discord. The Discord link will be in the chat. It's also in the description box below. Thank you, TJ, for the link. Um, yeah, so the we do have a Discord. We have our Discord is like cozy gaming, but we have a big DDV section because that's our main game that we play here on the channel. Um, and we have all kinds of different, um, chats that you can be a part of. So feel free to join. You're welcome, Elena. We'll see you in the Discord. I think the one thing I liked about, um, Encanto was I think that there was someone that everybody could relate to in that movie. Like, especially if you have a big family. All right, does anybody have any weekend plans? What are we doing this weekend? Oh, yay. All right, another gem. Now that we have the ancient gemstones, it's time to melt them. Bring the ancient gems to eat. I love Encanto. It's such a good movie. I should watch some Disney movies this weekend. If I was going to watch one Disney movie this weekend, which one do you guys pick for me? Beauty and the Beast? That's what I want to do. I want to watch a movie, eat some popcorn, and lay in bed. I need to do that at some point this weekend. It's my dad's 70th birthday tomorrow. We're throwing him a surprise party. Oh my goodness, Lexi. That sounds awesome. Um, and I'm making a Beatles cake. I've never heard of that. Is it like a Beatles-themed cake? Like Beatles the band? Or the artists? Oh, Brian, you work tomorrow? Oh, I'm sorry. Unless you're looking forward to it, then congratulations. Uh, a bookstore is having a closeout sale, so I think I'll go get some books. But yes to Beauty and the Beast. Emily, I love that. Go get you some books on sale. I have the ancient gemstones. Now we need to place them to melt them somewhere. Safe, away from everyone. Directive. You seem to already know where to go. I'm right behind you. I love her little, her little digital beeps. Haven't seen Encanto? Oh, it's so good. Have you seen the new movie, Wish? I haven't seen Wish yet. Um, the other movie I wanted to Over see here. was Elemental. I haven't seen Elemental yet, but I do want to see that. 
Oh yeah, perfect. Directive. E. Directive. Okay, now for the melting part. Hello? Eve! <laughs> ah! Um, <laughs> oh, so much fire. It's a little intense. <laughs> Not Eve giggling at me being on fire, but you did exactly what I asked. Thanks, Eve. I'll take care of everything. I better use my shovel if I don't want to solidify these gemstones again. Eve! Not the gemstones being melted into liquid. Oh my gosh. Eve is a dangerous little robot. Okay, keep your eyes peeled around Eve. You never know what's going to happen. I like how she just explodes me and then just walks away. She just floats away. Directive? Now it's time to craft the stone canvas. Woohoo! All right, so we need to go up here to craft the stone canvas. I'm assuming it's at the crafting table. Artsy! Oh my goodness, Artsy, so good to see you. Welcome in. Um, happy New Year to you too. Drive by high in lurk mode because it's cleaning day. I hope you have a very productive clean. Very productive cleaning day. Thank you so much for popping in. It's so good to see you. If you guys are not subscribed to the Artsy Gamer here on YouTube, another cozy gamer slash content creator, you guys go show Artsy's channel some love. A really great just person and a creator as well. Stone canvas, what do I need? Plastic scrap, okay. Time to go fishing. Can I get a little help here? The rabbit room is organized and I'm all for it. Ooh, it doesn't it just feel good to get to get things organized and cleaned, especially in the beginning of the year. This reminds me of the first fires in the Forgotten Lands. Oh, one of the literally one of the biggest disappointments. Janucky! Hello, by the way. How are you? Naru, hello, by the way. So good to see you as well. Oh, stop, Artsy. So are you. All right, now we have stop, Sam. Santa, what are you doing here? I actually need to spend some time collecting more plastic. I do not have a lot. Unbothered queen, the way she floats away, she just says, ah. Fire Schmeier. Doesn't bother me. Ah. <laughs> uh. I still have my fire, pretty green fire. Really? Oh my goodness, you still have your fires? That's impressive. I mean, you don't get anything for removing them, so there's really no point. <laughs> there's no point to remove them. Santa, can you? Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna be mean to Santa Claus. Do I have five plastic? That's four. The joy from them being gone was enough for me. That's true. They were that for me. I was also excited to see them go. I just couldn't believe we didn't get anything special for removing them. Shocked and appalled. Y'all, don't let me forget to give um, Vanellope her favorites of the day today. Let's sell. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of all the fish that I just caught. Stay ahead of the game, you know? Oh, oh. oh. Good, boy. good boy. Tell Santa his time is over. Your time is up, Santa Claus. <laughs> um. Hello. Do I really? Hey, why do I feel like we already had the stone canvas? Like it was already a thing? Oh, Eve. 
There you go. Brian, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much for the reminder. Morgan, hello, so good to see you. Hi, Kay, I'm just getting in and so happy to catch the stream. How is it going? It's going so good. We're working on Eve's level 10 rewards, friendship rewards, so I'm excited. And welcome in, I hope you're doing great on this Friday. Woo, directive. Are you ready to create your own masterpiece? Eve, let's go to the secret garden together. Okay, so follow Eve. I'm so glad to see Wally here. Ooh, oh, Wally! Stop, not y'all waving at each other. Wally, Eva, Eva. Yeah, she tried to set me on fire, Wally. Two eggs, what was that? Oh, plant, hello? What is going on? You two are very fascinating little robots, that's for sure. They just trade plants or something? <laughs> he said remind you, so I did just that. You did. That is true. Oh, I'm stuck. Directive. Whenever you're ready, Eve, you can place that stone canvas and use your lasers to decorate it. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, girl. <laughs> I know you lying. Hey, no. Who called, who called Rapunzel? Who called Rapunzel down here in the midst of that little screen flash that we had and she did a quick little painting because there's no way Eve carved that with a laser beam. <laughs> oh, so Eve is a 3D printer now. Excuse me? <laughs> Even more unpopular opinion, I like Vanellope. That is for sure an unpopular opinion. Sarah, my pink co cobra was in the Oasis area today. Even talented egg, don't question her egg talent. You know what, you're right. You're right, I should have known. <laughs> uh, Eve, does that mean you're proud of your own work? Eve, Eve, Eve. This goes to show you how something negative can turn positive. Oh, I guess you'd like to go back to Wally now. Wally, I'll see you around. Directive. And there's another quest. <laughs> Did I just not do any quests with Eve? I love Vanellope, just not her house. See, Vanellope's not bad. Her actual, like, chatting with Vanellope is good. And she's got great dialogue and is fun to hang out with. But I don't like the dark circles under her eyes, and I hate that she sounds like she's 400 years old. Those are my two things that bother me about Vanellope. Eve is excellent with two Gs. <laughs> that house is terrible. The house is terrible, TJ. Hmm. Say no more, I'm here. Eve, home. Home? Do you mean your house? Woohoo! What's in your house? Classified. Oh, classified? Classified. All right, let's see what this classified is all about. Let's go to your house. Oh. Bet I can beat you there. Oh, Sai, what's wrong? I'm a little gremlin girl. <laughs> Apologist, I want her and Stitch to be besties. I want everybody to be besties. Love Vanellope, cute, excitable, and candy themed. This is true. All, all true descriptions of what uh, Vanellope is. I just watched Wreck-It Ralph last night. One of those movies I could watch over and over again. I still love it. Don't kill me. I've only seen parts of Wreck-It Ralph. I tried to catch it for our movie night and I missed a lot of it. So I need to rewatch Wreck-It Ralph. 
Okay, Eve's house is actually very well done, in my opinion. Like, it feels very, like, techy and modern. So I think they did a good job in here. Directive. Plant. What plant? Oh, you mean the one in the corner? Plant. It looks dead. Which one? This one on the table? No. Do you know what kind of plant it is? No. Well, did you try to scan it? No. <laughs> Girl, what did you, what did you do? Wait, does that mean that this plant can't be scanned? <sighs> Sigh. Weird, maybe we can add an accessory to your scanner that would help it scan plants on Eternity Isle. Hmm? We'll need to take some electric powder and mechanical parts for the base. And ancient gears to make your scanner more compatible with Ancient's Landing. I'll go fetch everything and I'll craft it for you. Be right back. Directive. Gosh, this dress looks so good. Okay, what what quest is this? Is this this has gotta be the level 10 quest, right? No, it's not. I finished Penelope's quest so she could stop randomly telling me about her best friend Ralph. I was it was a jump scare every time. Em, it's so good to see you. Welcome in. I loved Record Ralph. It was so good. I didn't really like Ralph's breaks in the internet though. Hmm. I want the closet. Yeah, the little uh you mean like the little um clothing rack thing? It was re that's really cute. Okay, so, what do we need? Quest. So we need mechanical parts and copper. I have enough copper, I just need the mechanical parts through refining at the crafting table. No problem. I can't wait to redecorate out here. Okay, so mechanical parts, mechanical parts. When it pop up as a refined material, yeah, okay, so we need brass and bronze. How many? How many mechanical parts do we need? Three? My mic is in the way. Okay, so one each, so we need three of each. Bronze. Brass. Okay. There we go. We got a barbecue. Oh, we've got all the new market stalls, the barbecue. Oh, the ancient fishes vehicle. That one's, that's actually really cool. Um, new scanner accessory. Um, also, please tell me the grill is a functional item. It's not. Is it not the barbecue? Okay, three brass, one bronze, and mechanical parts. Sorry, I have to test this right now. Three brass. One bronze. And then I'm gonna go one more of each. Oh no, that's fine. It's not! So I'm wasting my time making this right now. <sighs> That's sad. It's got little barbecue tools and everything. I'm just saying like DDV. At any point, when you decide, I might, I might need, we might need some help with some ideas. I would be happy to play test and provide feedback on things like this, okay? We should be able to open the grill top and grill on this thing. I mean, look how good it looks. That grill looks awesome. Tamara, thank you so much for 11 months. Oh my goodness, almost a, a whole year. I'm so good. How are you? Thank you so much for 11 months of your membership. That means so much to me. Thank you for your support and love on the channel. Can we get lots of hearts in the chat for tomorrow? Almost a, almost a year, guys. 
You can place items on either side of the barbecue shelves. I will take that. That is well thought out. Give the scanner accessory to Eve. Wish I could, loves, but she's not here. Directive, hi. Here you go. I, I love that you love the channel and I, I'm just, that makes me so happy to hear. Thank you so much, thank you. Eve, here's your new scanner accessory. Um, I'm sure it will work. Woohoo! Time to test your new scanner accessory on this plant. You know what's even crazier? The new cooking... I'm just gonna get a tattoo that says directive at this point. I'll just be... I'll just have all kind of tattoos on. I can't believe that. The new cooking campfire isn't functional either. It says it's a dreamlike cobra lily. Plant. You really sound like you want to help this plant. Directive. Okay, let's take a closer look at it just to make sure what we're dealing with. Oh. Inspect the dreamlike cobra lily. This plant is actually kind of terrifying. The slumbering dried plant seems to regain energy at the approach at your approach and tries to bite off your finger. What? See? Gotta trust your instincts because I knew that that plant was not friendly. Will they bring back the boat in the premium shop or was it a limited time? Yes, just like Claire said, the premium shop does rotate so you will see the boat come back around. Everything in the pre premium shop will come back around, guys. Uh, candy books. Hello. And thank you so much. I'm so glad that you love the channel. Welcome in. I'm so glad that you're here. And thank you so much for that compliment. Hi, K and Brew Crew. Happy Friday. I'm waiting for the first now, uh, in DC this weekend. Ooh, Ashley, DC sounds fun. Whoa, plant. It almost bit my finger. Um, it must be very hungry. Directive plant. If we want to bring this dreamlike cobra lily back to its former glory, it needs to be properly fed. Oh, but I'm not sure what it likes. Oh, it ne it's gonna need the meat from Ga Gaston's stall, yes? You have an idea? Directive. Okay, we just got a recipe. Whoa, where'd you get this printout? It's a recipe for gourmet grubs. It's a great idea, thanks. Gourmet grubs, huh? How gourmet can grubs actually be? Hmm. <sighs> Ooh. I will say that I feel like I have to make a pastry shop now with all of these new pastries that we see here. Like, look at all these pastries. Mooncake. I want to try a mooncake one day. I, I've seen mooncakes made. And I just, I really want one. Just a tip, make sure you have room in your backpack for this quest. Mine glitched out because it was full and I had to wait a couple days for the game loft to fix it. Shelly, thank you so much for the tip. I will ensure. Will they bring back the boat in the premium shop? Or, oh, I already read that, sorry. Sorry. Okay, cook gourmet grubs. The new desserts are at, listen, the game the um the food to cook in this game is so I'm obsessed with it. I don't even know what to say. I'm just obsessed with cooking in this game. Not necessarily the function of cooking cuz I feel like that could be better, but it's the like the dishes, how they look. It's just so pretty to me. Also, gourmet grubs takes the snails the worms and the scorpions. Mm -hmm. 
No worries, Claire. Get those babies ready for bed. Thank you so much for everything, Claire. Thank you, thank you, thank you, as always. Have you made an ancient cooker yet? Not yet. I have not got into any of the ancient machines. I'm just, I'm behind. I'm behind. There you go. Here are your grubs. Looks like something the lions would eat. It definitely looks very Lion King inspired. Hey, Kay, I think they changed Vanellope's appearance lately. She doesn't have the dark circles around her eyes anymore. Maybe I need to go give her another look, Ashley. Yeah. Go give this to the Dreamlight Cobra Lily, and let's hope it likes that. Plant, plant! Yes, it worked! Directive! Ooh! Wait, are you giving me a sprout from the Dreamlight Cobra Lily? Woohoo! Call me the court carnivorous plant tamer. Whoa. What's next for you? Going back to help Wally? Sigh. You don't seem too thrilled about going back to gardening. Maybe what you need is a directive that is a bit more you? Oh. Take the time to think about it. There's no hurry. Hmm. Oh, I'm so excited about this cobra lily. I need to go put that in the greenery room that I have. Uh, let's find you a new directive. Hmm. So you're bored when it comes to gardening. You need something a little more adventurous. That's what I was thinking. I was like, Eve does it. I mean, this game seems like it's not really Eve's thing. Have to restart my game since getting a new Switch. Like, start over? Candy? They include a meal from my country named Poutine, and I was so happy to see it. Now I eat it every time I need energy. Teacup, that's so cool. Poutine is, um... Is it potatoes or like french fries with gravy and cheese, right? Or is it called curd? Am I right about that dish? Wait, so we have a new plant. I don't remember that from collections. I don't know if it's in collections more so that it's a decorative item. Oh, I was right, yes. Yeah, go. I think I know who would be the perfect partner in crime for you. Stitch. Yes, absolutely Stitch. He shares your sense of adventure. Oh, I'll go talk to him. So curious if Stitch will just pop up on the map. Yes. So it does work like that. If you have a quest with them, they'll pop up on the map that you're in, which is pretty cool. I like that because it doesn't require you to travel all the way home. Oh my gosh, look at the run. Look at the run! It's so adorable. Oh my goodness, that is the cutest thing ever. Hello. Hi, Achibaba. What you want from Stitch? Do you know who Eve is? Eve? Yeah, yeah. Eve fly and make things go. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> Mallory, thank you so much for hanging out. Have a wonderful night and a wonderful, wonderful weekend. We'll see you on the next one. Um, that's her. Well, she's looking for someone a little more exciting to do. She's looking for something a little more exciting to do. And I was thinking that you two could... Stitch has an idea. Stitch talked to Old Beard Man. Old Beard Man? You mean Merlin? Yeah. Make fireworks. Pretty rockets that go boom. Fireworks? Um, anything to avoid Eve setting fire to something else. That's a great idea. Fee-boo-goo. Fee-boo-goo. Old Beard Man gave Stitch recipe and one ingredient Maybe cactus you, powder. You know, only you can help. You, Merlin, you gave Stitch a recipe for fireworks. See, Merlin is actually a villain. Wait, Merlin gave you fireworks recipe? That's surprising. Old Beard Man gave me leave Stitch on desk. Wait, what? Old Beard Man leave for Stitch on a desk under books. Stitch borrow, no problem. Oh, you stole it. Okay, you took it from him. But we'll deal with that later. For now, I'll go talk to Eve about this project. It's good. Thank you. Thank you. Stitch reminds me of my son. Directive? Not Merlin walking in on the combo. Literally in the back, like. <laughs> Stitch is so adorable. Directive. I went to talk to Stitch. He suggested you lend a hand with the fireworks. That would be something great for the whole village. Oh. Directive? Woohoo! I'm glad you like the idea. Now I have this recipe and one of the ingredients. We need to gather cinnamon, electric eels, and 
I almost didn't believe it myself, but some dreamlike cobra lily extract. Hmm? Oh, plant. Woo! I'll start by getting the dreamlike cobra lily extract from the plant in your house. So this is a thing? So I need to pull some extract from the meat-eating plant in Eve's house. Sounds dangerous. I really like doing this quest. I love Stitch. Stitch is great. Stitch is one of my favorites. For sure. Stitch reminds me of my 18 pound destructive cat. 18 pounds? Shelly, are you serious? Okay, so we got some extract and now we need to cook the experimental fireworks. Cook? I'm not sure Eve or Stitch should be playing with fireworks. I'm actually positive that Eve and Stitch shouldn't be playing with fireworks. <laughs> I'm actually 100% sure. I swear, I don't know what it is, but when I hang out with y'all, I go from being really tired to not tired anymore. What's that about? What type of experimental fireworks is this? This looks like a, a drink. Because you're amazing? I agree. This literally, ex this experimental co fireworks concoction looks like a cocktail. <laughs> oh. She is just floating around in the sky. That is so good. That's just so good. Direction. There you go. Oh, careful with those experimental fireworks. I just made them and they seem a bit explosive. Directive? We need to test them out first, preferably in a safe location away from everyone. Oh, you seem to know the way. Eve knows all the safe locations. It's definitely giving cocktail. Excuse me? Ma'am? Why'd we go this way? Directive? Whenever you're ready, Eve, you can test the experimental fireworks right next to my house? This seems like a terrible idea. Digital beeps. I knew it. I knew it! Oh. Um, fires again? Uh, this is starting to become a theme. Look at Eve's face. <laughs> Sigh. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry, Eve. It's okay. We're gonna put the fires out. It'll be fine. Don't feel bad. It's an accident. You know, accidents happen. Oh, God. Um, directive? Don't worry. The experimental fireworks have failed, but the fires are gone. Plus, we're called the broom screw. Maybe it's the caffeine. I think it definitely has something to do with it. I was going to make a joke about the meat eating plant, but then I chose that not to get banned today. Hey Lee, there's about 16 jokes that could be made around that topic. <laughs> oh my gosh. So for our next attempt, no, you don't want to try again. I understand it was a little scary. Sometimes experiments go wrong. <sighs> Maybe Stitch will know what happened. I'll go talk to him. Ooh. Eve said, I don't want to start any more fires. Oops. I'm turning in. Good night, guys. Enjoy the rest of the stream. Thank you so much, Tiana. Thank you so much for hanging out. It was so much fun. I hope you have a great night and a wonderful weekend. You deserve. Relax some if you can. Big boom. Yes, experimental fireworks made a big boom, but Eve was scared, and frankly, so was I. Oh. oh. Stitch didn't want to scare Dot. It's okay, Stitch. Can you help me make the fireworks more safe? Yes. Can you help Stitch too? Stitch is looking for socks. Left them the <laughs> here before the forgetting. You look for socks, and Stitch talked to Old Beard Man about fireworks. Okatika? Okatika. Akuta Key. 
<laughs> I'll get your socks. I'm guessing I'll need my hourglass to find them. Old Beard Man said socks lost in time. Stitch bad to leave them all over island. Thank you. Gaston, can you not stand behind me like that? And not pose like that too as well. Please, what? Hello? No. No, that's enough. That's enough for me for today, okay? I've had enough of Gaston for today. <laughs> oh, I just love some oh, gosh. I cannot. The eyes in the back of his head, I just can't. I, I don't know. I don't know what's happening with that. Stitches, baby, for sure. Gives me the egg so bad. Oh. Let's see. Where are these socks? Oh, we need three socks? Is there... Okay, so we just need to use the Royal Hourglass to find it. Gaston? That's all Gaston does is show off his muscles. I think it's raining. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I'm so surprised by I'm just, I did not know it was raining today. Oh, it is, yeah. Are we gonna have a rainy weekend? <gasps> yeah, ooh. There's specific areas to find the socks? Are there really? I love a rain, I, I don't know, I just love a rainy, cold weekend because that means bundle up, soup, hot drinks, gaming, reading books, movies, no obligations. It's supposed to snow on Tuesday? Oh wow. Grace, hello again. So happy to catch you live. Have you tried the new ancient machines? I'm obsessed with the vacuum. I haven't gotten to them yet. Um, I just finished unlocking all of the biomes a couple streams ago, or one or two streams ago. And um, now I'll be able to like focus on using my mist to do all the other things. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna get the machines very, very soon. I hope anyway. You'll love the vacuum. I think the vacuum will be super helpful. Jack is impossible to beat at Scramble Coin. Lost him 10 times in a row. Really? Go to the Borderlands? Trade your bugs for snow? Not bugs. I'd rather snow for sure than bugs. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see. Oh, there they are. it up here? <laughs> Sorry, TJ, you can keep them. TJ, what kind of bugs? I think the vacuum picks up stuff off the ground. So like all the all the little resources and stuff that's all over the ground, it's supposed to pick those up. Roaches! Yeah. Mm. I can't I can't do roaches now. Roaches are a different breed. Where is this pointing to? Down here? Ooh, another little secret area. I love it. Can't stand them. At least we don't have palmetto bug. Oof. <gasps> Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, there's a chest. Hopefully it's something other than coins. It is not. I just, 
I really hope that in the future they change these chests that we get in the game and these specialty areas that you have to use resources to unlock to be something nobody has. Like, not something you can buy in Scrooge's store. Like, it's some kind of item, like rare item or something unique. Sometimes I can almost hear LeFou calling. Don't miss him that much, do it? Wait, don't miss him that much, do it? Do I? <laughs> Gaston missed someone? Never. He must be out there. Okay, let's see. I wonder if there's... Ooh. I could just... Let me go ahead and unlock these two. You can pick up those, pick up and choose what to collect from the vacuum. Jade, you just dropped a video on it, right? I swear I saw, before I started streaming, I saw you have a video on ancient machines right now, right? Yay, okay, I didn't make that up. Thank you for the link, TJ. Yeah, I'm really excited to test out the machines. Michelle, mom! Hello, thank you so much for five gifted memberships. Horse lover, Grace Tucker, Bailey, Caramel, and Heather. Welcome to the Little Brew Crew. You guys now have access to private community posts and our um, custom emotes that are in the chat. Let's all say thank you so much to Michelle Mom. Thank you for five gifted memberships. Can we get lots of hearts in the chat, y'all? Thank you, Michelle. How are you? Thank you so much for five gifted memberships. Yes, now you guys can use those emotes. We have some pretty cool emotes, I'd like to think. Okay, after stream, I'm telling you guys, I'm going to go... Upstairs, peel a green apple, cover it in lemon juice, and tahini. My mouth is actually watering. <laughs> Sugar cookie! Thank you for nine months! Are you ready for this baby? <laughs> wow, nine months, it feels like yesterday. Doesn't it feel like just yesterday? It's a really amazing, amazing feeling to know that you guys appreciate the memberships and want to support my channel in that way i am so thankful so thank you so much for nine months sugar cookie lots of hearts for sugar cookie as well y'all thank you so much for that uh good night kate gonna head for to bed brian thank you so much for hanging out have a great night get some rest and it's always so good to see you where is where are these socks is there one per biome i feel like i should look in the grass like up here in the wild tangle y'all had a brew crew baby we did we had a little brew baby first some little coffee beans <laughs> I can't wait to get rid of all this stuff, too. Congrats to Cherry and Mimi on being mods. Yes! I love it so much. Thank you so much for the well wishes to Cherry and Mimi. That's the only kind of baby I'll be accepting? Exactly. Exactly. Same. No, literally say. <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for that. And I think that we need to find one in the Ancients Landing too. Because we only have, we need to find one more, I think. Oh no, my paleo crashed when I opened my friends list. Teddy said, I know everybody. I know so many people I crashed the game. <laughs> I did 
had not realized that I hadn't done any of the quests with Eve. Like I, for some reason, I just thought I was going to start her level 10 quest. Not Jack Skellington being a jump scare. Let's see. Is there one over here? I'm doing hers with you. I love that there are so many. Same. It, I like, again, it's good to stay busy. Okay, that's not it. Maybe it'll be up here. that for now we can always come back and get it i'm gonna put you on the tv lay in my bed with my steam deck and play coral island oh yes we found it um so i'll be lurking but good night oh brooke thank you so much for the lurk and thank you for hanging out it's you know it's always amazing to see you so i hope you have a wonderful relaxing coral island night and thank you for watching the stream have a great lurk over here. Gone to work, Renee. Have a great day at work. Or night. Okay, where is Stitch? Oh, right here. Why are we all grouped up over here? What's going on? Here are your socks. Look at his happy face. Oh, Aloha. Stitch Sock Collection. Taka dot. Uh -huh. Old beard man say fireworks needed dream shards and red pitcher plants. Smaller boom, but more safe. Thanks, Stitch. That'll help a lot. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we need red pitcher plants and dream shards. Uh, okay, I think I have dream shards. Yeah, I have them in my storage. When am I gonna redo the entryway to my house is the question. Ooh, I need to get rid of some stuff in my inventory. Um, let's go red pitcher plants. Ooh, okay. What time is it? 11.30? How did it, it, how did it become 11.30 so, so quickly? Stitch is the only villager, villager I don't have unlocked, and I keep forgetting he's even in the game. Wait, you don't have Stitch unlocked, Ash? Is that by choice or just because you haven't got to it yet? Okay, that can go there. All right, let's get the pitcher plants. I don't even know if I have enough red pitcher plants now that I think about it. I might have four I need one more I literally keep forgetting he's a thing he literally crashes out of the sky it's very dramatic oh look my camera's doing that thing we all love so much It's either my computer or my webcam. Mm -mm -mm. Hold on right quick. Let me try to fix it. Y'all are seeing like the behind the scenes of the stream right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, it should be better now. Sorry about that. Stick figure K. I just, I really do need to just put her in the stream. <laughs> just in case my camera starts doing the thing that it always does. I am working on getting a new camera, so we're going to figure that out. Everything will be fine. The setup will continue to improve thanks to you guys, so... No worries. 
Although I am worried. <laughs> okay, red pitcher plant. Should I pick these up while I'm here? Do I have space? I do. Good. Now let's go find Eve. I don't know if this is even Eve's level 10 quest. Debbie! Hello! Is there anyone like me who's behind on completing the star path? I, I am as well behind on the star path. I know you're not the only one. There's a lot of people behind on the star path. <laughs> I think there's just so much to do this round, like this time around. Um, Gen B, hello. I love your streams and love seeing on figs. Uh, New Year's Eve. Jen, thank you so much. I'm so glad that you um, caught my segment on the figs. And thank you so much for being here. So good to see you. Welcome in. Stitch went to see Merlin about making the fireworks safer. If you add this to the other ingredients, you'll make some new fireworks, but safe ones. Phew! I agree. Phew. <laughs> Eve, directive. Hi. The fireworks are I ready to be placed. Help. Digital beeps. Perfect. While you place them, I'll make sure everything is ready for the show. Let's add some rugs, chairs, and decorations so people can relax while they watch the show. Cute, why do we need three rugs? Cute chairs and cute decorations. I guess. Um, I'm assuming we decorate here? I'm just gonna put it here because I think this is where it goes. Oh, how cute is this? Um, we could do like a little something like that. Oops. Um, that should be three of those. You know, somebody's probably going to want to enjoy a little coffee. Coffee and some books. <laughs> uh, what else can we put down? Oh, you're stuck on the harvesting something red. Being stuck on something for the star path is sh is stressful. I wish you could overlap rugs. Is this enough stuff? Oh, we need more chairs. Six chairs. Put that there. To be, I, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. <laughs> I was gonna try to make something cute, but I, I don't think, I don't think I'm pressed about it. Y'all know this picture is, isn't going to be... <laughs> I mean, this isn't bad, right? It's a little eclectic. Oh, Eve said, let me go ahead and have a seat. Eve, I made the place even cuter. So if you're ready, we can start the fireworks show. Digital beeps. Directive. <gasps> oh my gosh, it literally has a big red button. Gonna read a little bit before bed. Good night, all. Have a happy weekend. Oh, Morgan, have a great weekend. Good night to you, too. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. We'll catch you on the next one. Okay, uh, I've been harvesting apples and berries with no luck. So I think, Ashley, we have to actually plant them. I think we have to, like, actually plant something red, if that makes sense. Jenna, thank you so much for 12 months. It's so good to see you. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. 
Uh, it's crazy that it's been one year already. Sorry, I haven't been here in a while. Life has been chaotic to say the least. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing really good. And please do not apologize. If anything, we just miss you, but never apologize. Life comes first and it's just a normal part of things. I hope everything's okay. It's good to see you and thank you so much for one, one whole year. Can we get lots of hearts for Jenna, y'all? A year of mem membership is really crazy. Like, I hope you guys know how insane a whole year to support someone's channel, that means so much to me. Every membership means so much to me, but a whole year is just so cool. So thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Um, Wait, you want me to be the one to start the show? That's so nice of you. Can't go. I can even wait for the evening so the show is perfect if I want to. Oh. Um, Place the fireworks launcher and wait till night. Oh, we don't have to wait. <laughs> We don't have to wait. Oh. So sorry that the fireworks will actually be behind where I put it the seating. <laughs> I thought the tree was going to be in the way. It's Belle back there reading a book during the fireworks for me. If anyone ever gets stuck, they have a DDV app where you can track everything. It's available in both Android and iPhone. It's been so helpful. Is it the Trello board? Directive. Woohoo! Congratulations. The fireworks were so pretty. Giggle. I'm so amazed by you, Eve. There's nothing you can't do. <gasps> You can garden, you can fly, and when you want something a little more fast paced, you can create the coolest fireworks. Digital beats. Beep, 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 beep. Yes! Finally! Whoa, for me? Thank you so much. Home. I'm so glad we're friends. Woohoo! Yes! We finally got the dress. Let's put this, let's put this baby on. Let's see how, let's see how Dot's gonna do. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me set the vibes. Where's the sunlight at? Okay, there it is, there it is. And I haven't unlocked Jack either. The mushroom quest is too much and the kingfish. Oh my gosh, I, I forgot about the mushrooms. Woo baby. That's a that's a dress dress. Oh oh oh. That's a dress dress. That's God. <laughs> that is a dress dress. Y'all telling me this is not the cutest dress ever? The glasses are cute. I just don't know if they fit Dot's face. I think I prefer the circle glasses with this one. All right, what shoes are we wearing with this one? Are we staying with the theme? There's the white boots. But we also have the white loafers. It's very 60s, yes. It's definitely giving that vibe. Mm -mm. They have some like high tech shoes. I don't know if I really, yeah. Let me see how the loafers look with it. Oh, the loafers are cute. What do we think about the loafers? Oh my gosh, so cute. It's kind of Star Trek. Yes, I agree. I agree. I wonder what other, let me see what other shoes. I mean, these aren't bad. I just don't love the way they look. 
I mean, we could just go pink heels, right? <laughs> we got pink, red. Oh, those are cute. Those are kind of cute with it. Oh, I wonder what the new boots. Uh, the new boots don't really go with it that good. I think I like, I like the loafers. Or like something like these. That must be the shortest dress we have. It's definitely, it's definitely short, short. Yeah. Okay, go, go boots. Should we do boots? Do I have pink combat boots? Let me find out there's pink combat boots and I don't have them. These? I don't know if those fit the vibes. Not me. I look, I of course I have to design a whole outfit. I mean, these are like simple white, kind of fit the theme. Hold on. Hold on, hear me out though. I kind of wish they would do something about these shoes. They're a little bit weird on the feet, but I kind of want to go with these shoes. with like a lip like this. Maybe this needs to be just a little bit. A pink lip? I don't know if that's pink enough though. I think this was better. The glasses are like shading out Dot's face a little bit for some reason too. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's like this weird shadow. Okay, I don't mind this. The reason why I say pink is because, hear me out real quick. <laughs> How cute is this? What our little, our pink snake? Are you joking? That's actually a great picture. The pose with, I think the pose with the snake is one of the best ones that we have. Stop, so, so good. Hold on, let me see if I can. Not Wally and Stitch being in the photo too. Gotta head out for the night. Thanks for the stream, K. Thank you for hanging out, Jade. So good to see you. Thank you for being here and have a wonderful, a wonderful night. We need more skirts and dresses this length. I agree, like give me the short shorts, the short skirts. And dresses. This is cute. You know what would be really pretty? I want like a poofy, fufu short dress, you know? Like fluff at the bottom, tight up top. That would be so nice. 
Yeah, I haven't got to the robot yet, but I'm really excited about that one too. I like how they put shorts underneath it. They knew this dress was short. So they said, let me go ahead and put some shorts underneath it. Oh, uh, okay. You guys, I think this is a great part to leave the stream. We got Eve to level 10, which was the goal. I'm gonna need to change the name of the stream because I was like, I needed to update everybody to time bending, but I just, I wanted to get Eve to level 10. Yes, something magical. We got Eve's dress. She looks really, really good. Um, I am so tired. I'm gonna go make myself a snack and then get in bed. Um, thank you guys for such a wonderful stream. And I'm sorry that I was so late getting here. I really do apologize. Um, again, I do have a new video out. If you guys haven't seen that, it's day one to 15 in Moonlight Peaks. If you don't know what Moonlight Peaks is, it's a game that is out um, with a demo right now on Steam. It is a cross between Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley, and I mean that literally, like it's not like for clickbait. It's very much so Animal Crossing type of tendencies with the traditional farm sim type of vibes that we're used to. And it's a decorating demo, so I decorated a farm in 15 days. I really am happy and proud of that video. I would love for you to check it out if you haven't seen it already. Um, it's a longer one, so feel free to put it on while you're working or cleaning or something like that. But I hope you guys have enjoyed and I appreciate all the likes and comments and support on that video as well. Um, Brian, I know you're not here, but I hope that you see this. Uh, thank you again for your super chat. DTG, thank you so much for your super chat. Um, definitely not Ryan. Thank you for renewing your membership. Um, nerdy, thank you so much for five gifted memberships. Um, thank you guys so much for all of your membership milestones. We had so many people at a year. Um, that's just so amazing. I can't even believe that I'm saying that, honestly. Um, and Default Gamer, uh, thank you for your membership milestone. Uh, Michelle, thank you for five gifted memberships. And I am just so appreciative of all of you. It's been a wonderful, a wonderful week. A wonderful week. Oh, good night, Mad Max. Congratulations again to Cherry and Mimi for becoming a part of our mod squad. I am so thankful for you guys' help and your support on the channel. It means so much to me. I appreciate your time more than you know. So welcome to the team. Welcome to the fa We are already part of the family, but welcome to the mod team. And yeah, thank you guys. Bree, thank you. You and I both, Bree, you should be asleep, Bree, but you and I both need to get to bed. <laughs> you guys are so welcome for the stream. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. You deserve it. Y'all make sure you take some time to relax and take care of yourself. And I will see you on Monday so that we can do an absolutely crazy, amazing Toy Story Dream Snap. So have a great weekend. Thank you guys so much for everything. And until next time, I will catch you all on the next one. Peace.